Welcome to today's video where we're going to be looking at the energy supplier by Seiko. The inner energy supplier is nothing but a charger. But with Seiko Kinetics, as you guys know, Seiko went to great lengths to make it seem like it was not just an electric watch. They kept calling it a Kinetic to really talk about the fact that there was a, ro a rotor in the back, as you can see, and the fact that that rotor would generate electricity. That's why it's called, it was the, uh, the initial kinetics were called the AGS, the Automatic Generating System. And then they came up with the idea of kinetic quartz when the kinetic watches were introduced, finally settling on just the word kinetic. So most people, I'm not going to do this, do the Seiko shuffle to charge their kinetic watches. So, you know, you hold it like this. This one's already charged, so I can do it to this. And sure enough, let's see how much charge this has. It's about 5%, not a lot of charge. But this watch was really, this device was aimed at Seiko dealerships. Essentially, any service center or a dealer who had to ensure that the watch was fully charged if it came in for repair work or, you know, before selling to a customer. And the energy supplier was never sold to consumers, which is why it's so hard to get and it is so expensive. On eBay, this device would typically cost about $600, $700 just because they're not made anymore. So I decided to take out my Seiko energy supplier. So what you see inside is the energy supplier model Y202A. The instructions only come in English and Japanese which clearly says, you know, where Seiko thought, you know, its market lay. And you have instructions. It's basically got the critical thing you need to realize is it's about uses a nine volt direct current and will charge for 30 minutes to three and a half hours. So output is a, a nine volt DC at half amp. And of course you have a lot of instructions, but here's the main thing that you need to, another thing that uh, shows the intent of this device is, be careful with the temperature of the watch when handing the watch to the customer. Again, that goes to show that this was not intended for uh, consumer use. And this was really aimed at, uh, wa you know, watch dealerships or their rep repair facilities. So let's have a look at the actual device. The Another thing that's very interesting is depending upon the series of the watch, it would tell you that how much charging you could do. So if you wanted to get a one second movement, for most watches you could get it between 10 minutes to 30 minutes for the 5M series. And if you wanted a full charge, it was one and a half hours to three and a half hours for again the 5M J series. So let's put the instructions away. And let's have a look at the actual device. So the device isn't very big. It's really the size of a small CD player, a portable disc man, for those of you who know what that was. And it comes with a specific charger. Got a really long cable for the charger, which again goes to show that this was really intended for use in a place where you would put it on a counter and your plug point may have been far away like a typical uh, store so let's get this plugged in and let's see how it goes okay, so that's the I've got the US adapter out here because this has a US plug on it and there's a plug point out here that's your DC input And that's it. So now out here, what you see are based on the color, the different series of kinetic watches, right from the 7L to the 5M, the 3Ms, the 1M90s, the 4Ms and the 5Js. I have with me a couple of watches. I have obviously the, the legendary 5M43 series. 
I'm trying to be very careful not to shake this because I want to be sure that I'm able to charge it on the video. But I also have my uh, 7 series Kinetic. This is a Kinetic Premier with a metal case pack which tend to be harder to charge using the brown uh, toothbrush charger method. But it actually works. It's not that it doesn't work. It's just that sometimes it's harder to charge these watches. And the way you charge it is you go on the right and you select how much you want the timer to be. Three and a half hours or 30 minutes. Because you definitely don't want to overcharge these watches. Because if you overcharge the bat the battery will go bad. So and then you just hit the on button. It will make a, a high frequency a humming sound. It's just what... You know, it's about like, I think a one kilohertz signal that it's generating. And all you need to do is you take your watch, face down, figure out what's the, I can't see it. So this is a 5M43, so that's a 5M, and you just lay it down, and it will charge. Gonna let it charge for a couple of minutes. I'm sure it will get a juice pretty quickly. And yeah, you know, let's actually take that off and let's charge the Premier because that's the metal case bag. That's the one that's harder to do. And you can already see that it's... Already so the second hand has started moving. It really didn't take any uh, <laughs> input to get this moving. So let's put the... Sorry, let's get the guy in the premiere in. It's a seven, seven C. So I'm going to put it there, and we'll give it a little bit of time, maybe a couple of seconds, and let's see if it starts moving. Now, do you need this while we wait for this to charge? Absolutely not. This is really designed for. Uh, people who have a lot of kinetic watches like me or for a service center where they need to charge their watches and they can't possibly you know sit and do the Seiko shuffle oh, man. hit the tripod there okay let's move this in closer okay, so This is the only reason to have it, if you have the spare cash lying around, is to get what the the factory way of charging kinetic watches, because this is how Seiko charges kinetic watches in its factories and in its dealerships. So you can get these, that's the beauty of eBay. You will end up spending a lot of money that's the drawback of eBay. You know, you're grossly overpaying for something. This is not a $600 device under any circumstances. But yeah, it's, you know, it's the, that's the beauty of supply and demand. They don't make these anymore, but there's a lot of demand. Let's see if this just started charging. Yeah, there you go. It's the two second movement, which means it did manage to get some juice on it. Let's put that aside. And it has a 30, maybe I will put a, you know, so since my watches haven't been charged in a long, I will put it for three and a half hours and just let them charge for a long duration. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please be sure to hit like and subscribe to my channel. For me to make these videos, you have to subscribe to this channel because the more subscribers I have, the better the YouTube algorithm works. So, and for my existing subscribers, I'd really like to thank you. Uh, really appreciate it. And I will see you on another video. The next video that I will do will compare this to the brown toothbrush charger. So that should be a very interesting video. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you on another video.